Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Photography and today I'm going to show you how to use the LSP String Lights Photoshop Action and Brush that came free with your LSP Cake Smash QT Photoshop Action Set. So the first thing you need to do is to um, open your download from the website and you'll get the LSP Cake Smash QT in a zip file, the installation guide and the video tutorial. You need to right click this and choose Extract All or if you're on a Mac you need to use the Archive Utility. And when you do this, you'll get the Cutie Photoshop Actions and the Cake Smash Bonuses folder. So go ahead and open this up, you get the bonus um, Lightroom presets, the string lights and the guide. So open up the string lights and you'll see two files in here. One is a mini Photoshop Action and one is a Photoshop Brush. With Photoshop open, you can simply double click these and they will install. So that's the actions. You can see they've landed right down here at the bottom of your action palette. I'll show you how to move those in just a minute. And the brushes, double click, and they will load into your brush palette. You can click on the brush, right click, scroll all the way to the bottom of your brush palette, and you will see it here, LSP CSC String Lights Brush. You can click the little drop down and you'll see the brush here. I'm going to come off button mode for a moment on the action palette, so click this little lines up here, choose button mode, and you'll see the string lights at the bottom. I've already got LSP Cake Smash Q2 at the top here, so I'm going to drag the string lights just up to sit underneath and close that down. I like to keep the grey mode um, tidy. And back onto button mode. So now you've already loaded your Cake Smash actions in, and you'll see the string lights brush appear just beneath them here. You have a mini instructions you can play out, and I'm going to give an example now of how to set the actions up. Using first is yellow, play the string lights brush, it's important you play this one first, and then underneath if you use a reflective surface like this one here, you can choose create a reflection. I'm going to be demoing using this beautiful image by Kristin Nicotra from K. Artes in Photography. Um, it, these string lights work best if you've got kind of a blurred, um, shallow depth of field background, and preferably with some dark tonal depth to it. If you're using white or you know your background is completely in focus, the lights may not look so good and you might want to blur the background down. But you can play with these and see. So the pop will come up saying you need to select the string lights. It may have already selected it for you, but if it hasn't, you can right click, scroll to the bottom and choose the string lights brush. Just make sure you've installed it there. You can use these square bracket keys to make this brush bigger or smaller. I'm going to go quite small for this one. And you can either drag it along the background like this, or if you want the lights to be more spaced out, you can just dot them in. So I'm just dotting them along the back here. Wherever you put the lights is entirely up to you. We could do some coming up the TP2. It's up to you if you want them kind of dotted about the place, if you want them sparkling, if you want them to look like string lights, kind of like this. Well, that's basically you done. If you're not too happy about the um, the blur or the reflection, um, reflection or the glow on these, you can simply double click the layer and bring up your layer style box. You see inner glow and outer glow are selected. You can choose these and you can modify them if you need to. But you should find they work just fine the way they are. Next up, you can play step two: create a reflection. It will do exactly what it does on the tin, and create a reflection. You can hit V on your keyboard, or come up to this up here to get the move tool, and you can drag these up or down, um, depending. If you want to create a um, kind of a, a deep reflection, you can hold down Control or Command T to bring up Free Transform, and you can drag the bottom down to make these longer, if you wanted to. Kind of like that. Entirely up to you. Depends on your style and your scene. Hit the brush menu. Again, you can hit B. Right click and choose a normal soft round brush on black, take the flow right down and just start taking some of this reflection off, just for a more natural effect there. So there we go, before and after using the string lights. Let's try another one on this other gorgeous image by Kristen, she just really is the cake smash master. So again I'm going to play the string lights set up, it's chosen the brush for me but if not you can simply go down and choose a brush there. So let's have some string lights coming along the back. Beautiful, it's like a little coffee shop here. You can also just position them around if you want to, it depends on the kind of look you're going for. And again, create a reflection. Control 
Pokemon T because I do want to make these look um, a little bit more reflected there. And I'm just going to use a soft um, black brush on a low flow just to take this off the decorations because you only want this showing on the floor. And we can get V to move if you want it to move them even more. And so on. Can move up before and after there. You can also use them to add mini lights in your background. So you see here this sweet image by Samantha Jade. She has these stars in the background that um, could potentially light up. So play the string lights. Select the string lights brush if you need to. This may already be selected like it is on mine. And you can just dot these around like this. Excuse my mouse, it's being a little bit jittery today. Let's add some in here. So now they're lit up. And again, you can play the reflection. Continue. Just move this down a little bit. I'm just going to rotate that in just a touch. See the reflection is straight up and down. If you shoot at an angle, you may want to shoot, um, create more than one reflection, just so it looks realistic. So there we go. Before and after, adding those little lights in there. It's fun. And if you've got a lighter image here, you can still play the string lights. But you may find um, you want to go a little bit smaller, um, a little bit more kind of neater there in the background. It all depends totally on your setup. So I'm just messing the lights along here. Or you could add them over the background for a twinkling effect. Entirely up to you. You have a layer mask here as well. You can simply brush on or off. And again, you can double click and you can play with the glows. You can um, play with the size of the glow spread and things like that. You can just get in there and play if you wanted to, to give them more of a glowing effect. So that's how to use the LSP free uh, string lights that come free with the LSP Cake Smash Photoshop Action Set. And these are available at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.